1953, a restaurant chain was born. It would grow to have 15,000 locations in 100 countries. And in 1953, in a little town in Florida, it was born as Insta Burger King. One year later, it would be called Burger King. Today I will eat everything from Burger King, America's second favorite burger restaurant. Burger King and Jack in the Box have cornered the market on scaring their consumers into buying their food. Burger King especially, they just had that silent demon mascot for so long. He was like looking in windows and being spooky. I've eaten three fast food menus, so this is number four. At this point, I'm probably 90, 95% vegan. So I wanna do this video still because I wanna see how that affects me now. You know, now that I'm healthy, how much does this unhealthy stuff hurt me? Here we are at Burger King. Let's order way too much food and take it on back. Let's we'll start with breakfast. Uh, the pancake platter and the double croissant witch, the fully loaded croissant witch, king croissant witch, a rodeo king, crispy chicken sandwich, french fries, hash browns, onion rings. Yeah, I'll take the tacos. That's it. That's all I need. Thank you so much. You. I really appreciate it. Oh, I feel like I'm breathing in calories. Yeah, I do. Can you feel it? It is like heavy. It's heavy air. I'm actually gonna eat the fries right now because fries obviously have a very short shelf life. I wanna give them the best opportunity because you know, Burger King's fries are not like notable. <sighs> wow, they're not good. <laughs> it smells like a Funyun. Uh. And it tastes kinda like a Funyun, but it's way better than French fries. I do love little hash brown discs. I got nothing to complain about there. That is a good hash. Can I have another hash brown? Yeah, sure. I did train for today by getting a little bit drunk at Buffalo Wild Wings last night. Let's start out with a coffee. It smells fine. It's not good. <laughs> this is just the egg and cheese croissant, which. That's great. The cheese and egg is very balanced. I'd say this is a top notch breakfast sandwich. This is a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. Fuck yeah, that is a buttery biscuit. This is the bacon sausage. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's ham, oh my God. It's every meat. The fully loaded fuck me up biscuit breakfast. <laughs> sometimes less is more. I know, kings rarely say that. But sometimes less is more. And this is more, and this is so much more. Three or more pigs. We're gonna hit these pancakes. This is proof right now to me that those sandwiches, which is all these things together, way better than the individuals. The double croissant, which I can feel the heartburn knocking on my door. These are French toast sticks. Very sweet. It's almost like a churro. It's cake. This is deep fried cake. It's not bread, it's cake. Wow, that's incredible. Isn't this the same? Isn't this the triple, triple fuck me up? Oh, it's the croissant, which triple fuck me up. Mm, it's better than the biscuit. This is the bacon sausage, God, fuck. Burger King should do what KFC is doing and just make like weird products that aren't food. The Burger King air freshener. Now this is what I expect a king to eat. Two eggies, two sausages, two cheeses, and two pieces of buttered toasted sourdough. This is all too much, too much. Only my mouth is tall enough to do this. Like, who's your market? Look at the little dick next to this cabin. That's not a silo, that's a dick. They got you, Burger King. Your graphic designers snuck a dick in. Oh, these are the funnel cake fries. It kind of turned into gum. So that's breakfast. Now, I know people have been concerned about the food waste. You know, I did only eat a bite of each of these things. So, we're going to actually show you footage of our employees eating the food. It's really soft. Oh my God, they're so bad. We got all the burgers that they have right here, but actually, oops, we forgot two things from breakfast. So we're just gonna quickly get through those. That's the first oops. <laughs> this is the fully loaded burrito, and this is the little baby loaded burrito baby. It's good. Yeah, that bite was great. I mean, look at how much globbed cheese is going on in there. Looks like a rat got into it or something. <laughs> <laughs> look at the little baby. This is the number one breakfast item at Burger King. This is great because you get all the flavor of the innards without like the extra oil and grease of the croissant or the biscuit. 
It's really good texturally. I think that this keeps the moisture in all the meat and ingredients a lot better than uh, the other things because it's nicely, like, it's soft, it's chewy. I think this is gonna get the first double bite. It's time to be the Burger King. I got my trusty bucket, he's back. Hi. Jeez, it seems like we're missing a letter there. What's it say? It says Bucket King. Well, I'm gonna be bucketing all day, <laughs> I bet. Smooth the K. <laughs> there we go. Okay, <laughs> again. This is it. This is like probably what they first started with. Just like McDonald's, it looks exactly the same. But their burgers are flame broiled. I've always loved that about Burger King. I don't like fried patties, I like grilled patties. Flame broiled. We do it like you do it when we do it like we do it at Burger King. Definitely too much bread here. It's a bucket burger. Let's try the cheeseburger. It tastes exactly like the hamburger. Woo! Now, the bacon cheeseburger. I mean, it has a little more bacon flavor. You can drop another 30 cents on that. It does change it up a little bit, but why? Let's eat this fucking thing. This is a king burger. This might be Lord Burger. So the Rodeo Burger is known for its bacon, two beef patties, Barbecue sauce and onion rings. Yeehaw! Will you look at how big this beef patty is? Onion ring flavor, great. Barbecue sauce flavor, great. Meat flavor, a little too much, but the buns are not overshadowing anything here. You don't even taste the bread. It might as well just be wrapped in beef. The sweetness of it makes it not taste like the other burgers, so I'm gonna leave it there for now. Oh, it's so wet at the bottom of this. Burger King's got tacos. It's like crispy like a burger, but then it's mushy like tacos underneath. I think that's a burger patty chopped up. I, that's what I would do if I was running the restaurant chain. Good call. It's not a taco, but it's good. So that's a beef item that they sell that's totally not like the burgers, so that's unique. It's, it's a fresh offering. It did make me sweat a little bit. <laughs> The girls are getting that taco. All right, this is the SBK, the Spring Break King. The Sourdough Bacon King, yep, you got it right. Way too much bread, but the sauce and the onions and the bacon together, actually really good. This sourdough bread is garbage. Burger King, get it out of here. Just use your buns, your buns are great. Oh my God, the mustard. Oh, this is the double quarter pounder. A staple of McDonald's, there's like, we'll steal it. You make a burger I want, it's mine. I'm the Burger King. It just tastes like a grown up version of their basic burgers. So this guy is a bucket. Go on in the bucket. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Big XL King. How much meat is on this? It looks like a whole car. This is not a special lady. And it's not just a Burger King, he's a Bacon King. Fuck tons of ketchup and mayo. <laughs> oh my beef. It tastes like the other ones. The double sourdough king. It's so much beef. It's Whopper time, which means it's Becky time. Everybody, welcome to the stage. It's Becky Harrisburger. Look at that match cut, Mr. Chandler. Welcome, Becky. Yay, thank you, thank you. How are you, my beautiful wife? I'm good, I'm a little hungover, so I thought this would be fun. Yeah, so I brought you in for the Whoppers because the Whopper is the signature dish of Burger King, mm -hmm. and you're like, my signature. Okay. <laughs> you might notice there's a scale on the table. This is because I have a theory that I'm gonna test right now. Boom, boom, it's Shane Dawson. Oh my God. So the Whopper is 327 grams, and it cost $5.99. The Whopper Junior, which is 199, it weighs 165 grams. For the price of a Whopper, you could buy three Whopper Juniors, and that would roughly go out to like 480 grams. Way more food, same price, same flavors. <laughs> They're trying to get us to pay more for this, even though this is a better deal. Okay, let's try this. You want a Lady in the Trampet? Whopper is my favorite burger from fast food. So it's gonna live right out here. Let's try the Whopper Junior. Here, you just take a bite first, because it's very small. I'll try to find you the least mayo spot. Why don't you just take the top bun off? Ugh. That's bad. I will say that the bread a little bit overpowers this, 
So you should probably buy three Whopper Juniors, take off the top buns, smash them all together into a ball, <laughs> put them in your mouth, and just be happy. And I think he's going in the bucket. This is the two beef Whopper. There's condiments on top, so good. I also eat Whoppers upside down so that my tongue meets the flavor before the meat. That's disgusting. Yeah, it's too much beef. <laughs> oh my God. This burger looks like it's drenched in blood. I thought they had just put a human organ in between the buns. Oh. It just tastes like eating barbecue sauce. But it is a different flavor profile, so it's not gonna go in the bucket. The Bacon Whopper King. Also, look at this tomato, just sticking out like a tongue. Just, doesn't that look pretty commercial worthy? That's probably the prettiest burger shot we've gotten all day. It has that problem that Taco Bell lettuce has, where it tastes odd. So we learned that this many burgers taste pretty much the same. These are the four burger profiles they offer. Whopper with a bunch of barbecue, a normal burger with a bunch of barbecue, a burger with like a Frisco sauce, and a traditional Whopper. Let's move on to some chicken. Thank you, Becky. Thanks. It tastes weird when you go from beef to chicken. Mm -hmm. It's like a weird transition. Let's start with the fish. It's been through a long journey since it was swimming. I don't know why you're ordering this sandwich at Burger King. And to help me start out the chicken, I'm bringing longtime great best friend of mine, Mark the Shark Musinski. Let me get you a chair. Oh, yeah. Let me get you. Oh, watch out, Mark. Oh, get back, Mark. Get back. You may have seen Mark in some uh, videos here and there. He was obviously. One of my best men at my wedding. I came from Burger King, I'm getting chicken, and I think that's great. Chicken fries. We're gonna try all the dips here. We got sweet and sour, honey mustard, ranch, zesty garlic, I think, buffalo, and barbecue sauce. We'll try all these throughout the different chickens we're trying. So this, this is, is fun for children, because children like to pretend they love cigarettes. I did that with pretzel logs constantly. Of course you did. Hey, Jimmy, you wanna go get me some chicken fries? Yeah, I'll get you some, Jimmy. What's one word to describe the chicken fries? Gooey. That's oh, I shit, go look Whoa. at these. Hold the uh, fucking phone. Oh. Just, just from the finger appeal, this feels better than the chicken fry. It's like a little high heel boot. <laughs> <laughs> Almost everything I want from a chicken tender. Really? Yeah. Got a lot of crunch. Feels like, for the most part, a real tender. Mm hmm What does zesty taste like? Oh, pretty weird. If you had a lemon and then you rubbed it around a cleaning mop bucket. It's way better than chicken fry. I know that people are excited about the chicken fries. These chicken tenders blow their mm -hmm. dicks apart. Okay, okay, we got the nugget. What's your one word description of the chicken nugget? Chalky? Look how thin it is. Give it up for Mark! <laughs> Here's the chicken junior. It's a junior chicken. Fuck that. We got a chicken sandwich. <laughs> it kind of tastes like pork. Kind of like it though. It looks like salmon. Why is it orange? This is the crispy chicken club. This is great. Like it's very fatty, it's very luxurious. The crunch of the chicken's really great. The bacon blends well with the flavors. Um, cheese is nice. It's a balanced chicken sandwich. <laughs> Fried chicken sandwich. It's very underwhelming. I don't know what this is called. It's probably like some fucking rodeo chicken sando or something. What is it? Is it cheese? What is it? Oh, it, oh, it feels awful. It feels like jello. What is that sandwich? Let's eat this. Let's eat this chicken junior. This is, oh, I hated this when it was spicy, so I don't think I'll like it this way. No. Oh, this is the onion ring one. Wait, no, that's an onion ring. It is? Yeah, there's the- Oh, I love fish. You thought there was fish on the cheeseburger. I didn't taste it. Sweet, salty, meaty, crunchy. This guy is all. And this one also has the weird thing going on. What is it? When it's on the chicken especially, it looks, but there were mostly women working. And this looks like male ejaculate. And they couldn't have ejaculated onto all these sandwiches. Nobody could come that much. All right, everybody, it's time. You've been asking for them. Corn Diddy time. Thank you. Thank you. Is 
Thank Thank you. You. I'm very excited to be here, Keith. I was a Burger King kid through and through. I feel like there was a turf war in the playground. Definitely. You were either Team McDonald's, Team BK. Definitely. I'm a BK boy. Well, let's start with this veggie burger. Yeah, this seems let's start. Right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the consistency is awful. There's whole vegetables inside of it. Well, that's, I mean, that's, that's good. Commendable, actually. That's good. There's really, you can see. There's... I hate how you dug through it, though. <laughs> you like clawed through with your finger. That's what, this is horrifying. <laughs> Let's wrap it back up for the girls. Oh, you're gonna make them eat this now? No, no, no. They want to eat it. Oh, God. The spicy chicken sandwich. It's one of those that kind of dances on uh -huh. your tongue as it settles. I'd say this is a pretty good chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. This is it. This was my childhood right here. Wow, it looks so much smaller. The chicken sandwich. A little too much bread. The fucking butter goop again. This I think just needs something. Something to offset the salt. It's yeah. like the ocean drowned a chicken and then you found it a year later and you licked the chicken. All right, bye Keith. Bye Zach, thanks for dropping by. You can just tip that over, thanks. Watch out for the bucket. You can take the fries, yeah. Whatever you want. Everybody, welcome to the stage, Eugene Lee Yang. Bub, 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 bub. You want me for salads? What but the those, fuck happened here, Keith? Those girls. <laughs> it's so nasty. The, let's eat some salads, Eugene. Well, this is the grilled chicken mm. salad. Oh, and that's that chicken that looks like salmon. I can see the grease collecting in your eyeball. What do you think of the flavor? Mm. The chicken helps it. It's like cat food. How do you know how cat food is? This one's the chicken bacon cheddar sandwich salad. See how this is. No, I think I prefer some other fast food salads better. Are you okay? <laughs> where, where did he go? I'm just taking a little nap. Oh my god. Well, uh, there's only one. There's are you only, done? No. All I've got left is your just desserts. The M&M's vanilla milkshake. Hell yeah. Very satisfying. After all the oil and salt I've had, my body's like, this is awesome. So this is a hot fudge sundae, I believe. It's good. Hey! Hey! I'm mini sinnies! Let's eat this nightmare. Maybe this is what was on the bottom of the chicken. Kind of like eating a manila folder. And I think everybody wants to know what this Twix pie is all about. Ice cream, peanut butter, mousse, chocolate chips. It's a very mousse-driven pie. I actually really would recommend this. And all the girly sea, I'm pretty fly. Pie. Let me tell you what, ending on the dessert gives you that sugar power to get through the end. Probably 20 tablespoons of sugar in my system, and I am ready to kill someone. The apple pie was good. A little too soft, a little too generically sweet. They're no better than the stuff in the freezer section at the grocery store, except maybe this. This is really quite good. So that's all the dessert. We ate everything for Burger King. Now what do I think is the best, and what do I think was the worst? I obviously gotta give it up to the Whopper. The Whopper is perfection. It's still my favorite thing. I didn't really love any of the chicken sandwiches. But the chicken strips were good. The single worst thing that I had, that tiny little spicy chicken sandwich. Fuck you. So there was no meat in it, it was all breading, and then it was more bread. There was that awful mayo and that awful mystery goop that maybe was butter, maybe wasn't on the bottom of all the chicken. That sandwich can go to hell. I still like Burger King. I just think they're overdoing it a little too much. I think they can scale back. They don't need all that meat. But I'm gonna be doing this a few more times this month. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm Keith. I ate the menu. See you next week. That's what everybody's tweeting. They're trying to be so original with their fucking garbage joke with some commentary. You wanna hold him? No, I don't. Fetch. He hates looking at me. Yeah. I prefer dogs over babies. All I see is cinnamon swirls, baby. <laughs> <laughs>